Yo, check, check it. it. What's up? Here's another week of Yo, check it. Yo, check it podcast. Hey, thank you for tuning in. If you're a first time listener, welcome. If you are a returning listener, we appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, so it's just me and Christian again, just chun. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with just the both of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> ain't nothing how's, wrong with that, man. How's your week, bruh? Uh, you know. Oh, you know, I, I finally finished that that video we we've, we've been working on together, that editing. Oh nice. man, I posted that and I was excited to release it. I get I get more excited every single time I uh like I finish one of those because I feel like I get better and better, you know? Yeah, it's all I mean it's all practice, dude. Like the more you do, the easier it gets and the better you get. Absolutely. Like as I start seeing the things that you you remember how we we were sitting there and we we're trying to like figure out what uh the, that blur, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, starting to see that, and I'm like, oh man, Jerk is right, but there's nothing <laughs> I can do about it. Yeah, I don't know what it was, dude. I don't know, but uh, I still gotta figure out like all sorts of other stuff. But I am very motivated to, you know, um, like see where it's taking me. You know? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot more projects coming up. Yeah, I'm excited. So if y'all haven't t- checked it out, um, and you you're following us on Facebook or you're following us on Instagram or YouTube. Check our videos out, you know? Um, yeah, we just made a, another food video. This yeah. time it's um, steak. Ooh, but it's not just steak. It was a full-fledged flank that was, or it's a shank, shank or a flank. But this bad boy was cut up by our good friend June. And shout out to you, June, for doing an amazing job. Those videos turned out great, I think. Yeah, it was like a butcher video. Ooh, it was. It was so good. Ooh, thinking about it now makes me hungry. Yeah, steak was pretty good. Yeah, uh, you learn you learn a lot of things when you, you know, when you talk to like random people, but also your friends and stuff. Like you just don't you don't know what their passions are, and knowing that you know he, it, he was passionate about knives, and he was also passionate about like um, cutting up meat. You know, it it puts puts life into a different perspective. It's yeah, nice. I mean, it's it makes it. Like, I like seeing other people's passion, you know? Yeah. Because um, for me, like, I'm really into videos and photography. And, like, for other people, that might not be their thing. And it might be something else. And I just like seeing how passionate they are with their craft. And it's just good to see. Yeah. I mean, like, it's it doesn't even have to be. I mean, well, I guess technically, like, butchering is a craft, you know? Just like when we were playing World of Warcraft, you do all this cooking and all this. Yeah, we were, we were gamers, form, we were man. nerds. It's an art form for sure. Because like I didn't even know there was like different cuts, and I didn't know there was different parts that like have different purpose. And to cut him in such a such a way that fluidity that that mmm delicious. Yeah, it was cool. I liked it. I liked it. But if y'all haven't checked it out, check it out. You know, there's a link on YouTube somewhere if you're watching on YouTube, and if you're if you're checking this out on uh, one of the SoundCloud, Spotify, what have you, let me know. I'll send you the me. Uh, well, actually, I'll probably post it on my, my Instagram. Uh, hey, Raiko. Check it out. Check it out. Check yeah, out. check out his video. I just released my video, too, both on, well, it's just on Facebook right now. But yeah, it's probably going to be on Instagram and probably YouTube. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, check it out. If you like it, leave a comment, maybe subscribe. I don't know. Do what you want. Cool. Yeah. How about you, man? What's what's new? What's kicking? What's what what's been uh intriguing you this week? Um Yeah, I'm doing okay. Like normally I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm good. Yeah. But like I'm de- dealing with like personal stuff, so it's like Oh no. It's like I don't wanna just like fake like fake it, you know, and you're like This is visceral, this is real, this yeah. is like this is right here, right now. I'm not gonna lie. If I was not feeling hundred percent, I'd I'd be I'd be real with you. You know, you want to talk about it? It's yeah. uh, it's our podcast. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Yeah, it's just like it's it's personal stuff, but we can talk about it. We can we'll probably talk about it next time and in another podcast when it's not so fresh and personal, so I can look at it a little bit more objectively, not and not just you know. That's subjective. good. That's good. Yeah. To to um take a moment and breathe and then uh just like 
not react. There's no um no situation needs a reaction. Like not all situations need reaction. Actually, is what I'm trying yeah. to say here. Like if if you ever you get into um I don't know whatever whatever mood that that moment in time has put you, you don't really have to react. You just gotta take a moment, breathe, let it go, come back to it when you feel like you're ready. Yeah. You know? I not, mean, because like I didn't, I didn't want to sound too like venti, you know. Like oh, I feel, oh, I feel. I, I want feel it like to that. be a discussion and a learning process for everybody that's listening, and not just bitching and complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when when um when people get into like a um, a funk like that when they when they, when it first actually happens they just they need to like let all that 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 air out. Yeah, because you know it's um. It's very personal, and yeah. like you're still feeling that strong emotion about it, and like it might come off very like negatively, you know. Yeah, it's better just uh, you know, just let it simmer down, come back to it when you're clear mind and in good thought. You know? Yeah, we'll discuss it in another time. So tune in if y'all feeling like figuring out what's on Jerk's <laughs> mind. Yeah, you're gonna have to watch every single episode now because you never know when I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the next episode. It could be five episodes from now. It could yeah. be. It could be never. Who knows? But you gotta. You won't figure it out until you listen. Yeah. So apparently, um, so you know how we recorded a new um anchor ad. Yeah, yeah. If you've been tuning in for the past since we started, we had a different ad before, and now it's it's new. Kind so of fresh. I don't know what they say about it. Is it good? Is it bad? Yeah. Um, somebody told me, like, she said she, it was, like, it was cute and funny. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, we only are here trying to be cute. Thank you. Yeah. Whoever you so are. So I was like, yeah, that's that's cool. I mean, at least you you like the... The intro? The intro. Cool. I mean, like, if you're listening to this podcast right now, you probably just heard it. And let me know what you guys think. If it's funny, if it's stupid, you can make fun of us or <laughs> laugh with us. Yeah, and for all of you guys out there, um, I know a lot of you guys watch out there on YouTube. I appreciate you, but you're not going to hear those ads because uh, it's um, it's only on Spotify, Apple, and Anchor FM, wherever wherever it, you know yeah. they pl- we placed it. Unfortunately, you guys on YouTube are you gonna, get all the other ads. You oh, get we're so the lame ass ads on YouTube. <laughs> sorry guys, but it's okay. Yeah, until we get sponsorships, like we're gonna have to stick with that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> But appreciate you for watching. Yeah. Um, yeah, we should talk about the Patreon a little bit. Just like... Um, Ooh, when are we trying to release this? Yeah. We're gonna we're coming up with a Patreon for our podcast. Hopefully, we'll be releasing it soon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if you guys enjoy our content, it would be nice to... If you guys want to... At your discretion. Yeah. At your... Um, subscribe you know, for... At your mercy, I guess. For some, for some cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, Christian's going to make you guys some stickers. Ooh, stickers are always cool, so <laughs> let me know. Yeah, we'll have some stickers, probably. Yeah, it's going to be dope. Um, As soon as we launch that, watch out. It's going to be sick. Yeah, Stick we'll, on everything. We'll announce it soon once we figure everything out. Yeah. Patreon, if you guys want to support this podcast. Sponsor us. <laughs> yes. Sponsor, sponsor. Anyways, today's topic, we'll be talking about the art of balance. Nice. What does that mean? What does it mean? You know, when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate everybody who got that reference. Nerd. Yeah, we all nerds out here. But anyways, um, balance, you know, just in all things, in life, love, work, you know, everything. Um, I feel like there's got to be a... Uh, some sort of balance, because you can get lost in, you can get you can get lost in it all, and juggling juggling it is just kind of difficult. Not gonna lie, you know. Um, sometimes you you there there are things that you've done before that people expect you to continuously do, but people change, and you know it's not just like I don't see balance only on um it's not it's not just so based solely on you or it's it's not like the the responsibility is not just on you you know what i'm saying like everybody around you should understand that like you're 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 trying to find a new balance you're trying to find like a, a different um a different way to because 
people change. People, people, new things happen to them. Like each and every day, you might you might have gotten a new job. You you might have started school. You might have went back to school. You might have started doing other things. But you know, we tend to forget that like there's more to life than just what is happening currently in your in your in your you know in your um current current life. You know. Do you think your life? Do you think you figure it out at the moment? Like, do you feel balanced? With your career, with your personal life, and your other ventures, I feel like nothing's ever balanced. And I mean, life is beautiful in that way, where it's just like, oh, okay, I don't, I don't have it all figured out. But nobody ever does have it figured out, you know. But when you do, when you do get to that point where eventually you get to a point where it's just like, oh, okay, this works out well for this aspect of my life, then I'll leave that and let that, like, you know, work itself out. And then this part of my life is just like, oh, maybe I got to do a little bit more for this life. But at the end of the day, it's just, you know, you're, you're, people don't see it, but there is a struggle behind what is being seen. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, um, like, you see, uh, I mean, it's social media in itself. Social media in itself shows, oh, okay, um, this person's doing hella good. They're posting all these videos. They're, they're going to all these places. But you don't know what's going on. And, like behind that scene, you know, everybody can post a happy picture, but like, there's also that meme where it shows um somebody putting on a face because people can put on a face. Sometimes, sometimes it's not a face. Sometimes it's just like, oh, I'm actually legitimately like happy about this aspect of my life. You know, I'm not saying that I'm not happy because I'm pretty happy, but like, you know, you can't, people just can't um expect too much from you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, People, you, you're, people are constantly balancing and people will come to a point in their life where it's like, oh, okay, I am content with doing this, doing the same exact thing because this is already balanced for me. But sometimes something happens in your life that drastically changes it and you're going to have to try and find that balance once again. Yeah, I mean, I think people always struggle, especially balancing like personal and their career. Yeah. I feel like that's a big balance problem for a lot of people. Yeah. It's because sometimes you get to focus too much on one thing, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and people struggle with that, especially with the people around you. That Especially if you have, if you have a family or a significant other, when you're constantly working and, and like not having enough time to spend with your loved ones, that's like a big problem that people, a lot of people deal with. It's, yeah. it's, I mean, it's kind of tough, you know, like you, you're out here, you're, you're trying to balance like, you know, everything. And you're just trying to, you're just trying to find, I mean, like if I had all the money in the world, obviously money's not going to solve all my problems. Money, money's like, money would, solve a little, probably half of them maybe i don't know it helps it helps but like i don't you know if if i didn't have to worry about that aspect of my life right i didn't have to worry about rent if i didn't have to worry about like you know having a, a nine to five that you know feeds me it keeps me sheltered keeps me clothed yeah i'll go and do all the fun things that everybody wants me to do you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day like there's there's still things you need to figure out for yourself you know you, what's your craft what's your um like, you still have to find time to, like, do something for yourself. Yeah, know? and then, not just with the personal life, too, but, like, sometimes when you have that 9 to 5 job, it's like, it gets, when you do that every single day, it gets kind of boring after a while. So, you got to figure out what you do outside of those time, too. Like, yeah, it gets repetitive, you know what On I'm your, like, weekends or, like, after hours, like, mm -hmm. what do you do then? Like, you got to find that balance so you don't like go crazy every time you go to work every single day you know yeah uh, you know i i try to find um the good and even the smallest things you know what i'm saying like oh okay well you know i come to work but every si single day at work i do something a little bit different or at least i try to or i have a different conversation or i mean because it, it's it's pretty much just i mean uh if you're if y'all listening and you're from work you know thank you for <laughs> tuning in but i'm not trying to say anything bad about work i'm just saying that you know things can Things can get stagnant. Stagnant. Things can get things. Same. Will, yeah. So you know, finding finding um something small to do like oh editing a video or uh, 
I don't know, like learning a new craft, stuff like that. Yeah, because I think during um, the time when I was still working like a nine to five job, like I always, I think what kept me sane was like doing something after I get off work, you know? Yeah. Like figure out like what my hobbies were, which mm -hmm. was like photography and like making videos. Yeah. Those were the things that kept me sane for like a long time because when you have a a regular nine to five job, all you do is like pretty much the same every single yeah. day for the for five days, you know? Yeah. I try to for me I, I find like comfort in being with, with you know, the ones that like like my significant significant other, like it, it helps me. It helps me realize that the world is just not. It's it's not. It's not like that. The world is not continuously um, repetitive. You know, there's so much more to the world, and you always gotta think about like the the things that could be different within that world. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like being with my significant other, I'm just like, it's 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 nice. It's um, it helps me like it. it it's like a safe zone. It's like, oh shit. Like, I mean, that I'm not trying to put that pressure on them, obviously, but like, it's it's just really nice to just even be around them and and just like, you know, be able to wind down and just forget about everything else for a minute. And I t I think people tend to forget that. And even if you're single, even if you're single, right? Um, and you you gotta go and do things, you know, that 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 puts you in that place. Like, if that means, uh. You know, playing video games like most people, all the fellas do. Like, go, go, do that. Go, yeah. go, go, hang out with, with the homies, or I don't know. Just yeah, I think like part of being happy is like balancing your life, because like sometimes when there's like a big imbalance, you tend to like get stressed or depressed at those yeah. moments. You know, a lot of pressure. You know, a lot of pressure is put on you because you're expected to um to do certain things, especially if like. Uh, I don't know. In 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 times of change, right? In times of change, where you say, um, in times of change, where you're trying to, like, if, if something happens, something different happens in your life, right? Like, people expect you to to be that same person and do the same things that you did in the past. But no, you get you're you're trying to adapt to this new thing, and you know, like, just, just like work, like maybe you didn't have work for a while, and mm -hmm. all you've been doing is just chilling. And you're available. You're readily available. But there's new work. You know, you, you have to put time into that because you're trying to get paid and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to you fend for yourself. Yeah. Like, I think, I think that's, it's not just like put upon yourself, but like people around you should understand. Like, I, I understand if like you, you go and do things that that's a little bit different. That's okay because you're trying to figure out your life. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you got to find balance. Balance, balance in every in all aspects. You know, honestly, it's like it's 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 key. It's important. You know, you don't um, just you need to find like, oh, like, am I doing more of this? Am I doing less of this? Like, it's you know, yeah. do you ever feel that way? What? Just like you ever feel like you're being pulled like two different directions, and you're just like, uh, what do I do? You know, like sometimes I just I just want to chill. You know, I just want to. Mm, this one. Yeah, I, I mean, don't want to worry about anything else. I deal with that like from time to time. Yeah. Like just not I feel like some days I just feel like I don't know if that's like a balance issue, but like some days you just feel a little down, you know? Like yeah. most days I'm like pretty good, but then for some reason like some days are just like not as good. I mean, like, I, apparently um you know how girls have PMS? Yeah, guys have that too. Apparently guys have the same things that they deal with. But it's not, I mean, we, obviously we don't bleed, but... I, I think it's called like andro... Is that what it's called? Andro... I have no idea the scientific oh, yeah. term for it, but... Oh. Apparently it's a real thing. Yeah, well, I mean, there's days where, you know, um, you want to go be part of the world, but then, then there's days where you're just like, oh, I just want to not be a part of the world yeah. for a minute. Just want to, like, go to a... A place of zen. Yeah. And then I guess it might be, I mean, obviously being sad is not a good thing, but like sometimes maybe it's a, 
it's a good thing in a way where you can just kind of reflect with whatever is going on in, in your life. Because sometimes you get a little too comfortable, you know, like everything's yeah. become too easy and comfortable and you don't want to make that change because, you know, yeah, obviously yeah. You're, it's easy and comfortable. But when you're feeling sad or down, you kind of search for like an answer on like how to make yourself feel a little bit better. Yeah. So I feel like that's a a good way to like self improve. Yeah. You gotta you got self reflection is always a good thing. Some people don't um get enough time to be alone. Like yeah. You know, like there there's gotta be times there got there's gotta be a time of like self reflection where you gotta like meditate and people think that oh, you know, meditation's about like following some dude talking to you. No, it's it's about listening to your inner self, understanding who you really are, um, what you're doing in this life. Is this the correct thing? For me personally, like I'm I'm always meditating on on like, am I doing the right thing? Am I going the the right direction? I just want to spread good goodness and light. You know what I'm saying? I d I, I don't want to uh I, like it's kind of you know, it's kind of bad because like yo, know, yin and yang, you you have to have like the good and the bad. Yeah. That's balance. But sometimes I just I I just want to like spread good, you know. I just want to like promote it. I just want to like, I want to, I want to put a smile on your face because like I just wanted to, I just wanted to be good to you. Because you know I mean, I think I don't want to be mean. Like feeling the negative and the bad is not necessarily. It doesn't have to be like a bad thing, you know. Yeah. Or maybe Cause like because some, sometimes like like um this week I started going back to the gym again because I. I felt like I was feeling like shit. Oh, dude, I noticed the... um. <laughs> yeah, you noticed that? I was yeah, like, I'm like, oh, closing some engine. rings, nice. dude. <laughs> oh, man, I got to fix my rings. But yeah, so like like the past three days, I've been kind of going, you know? Yeah. Trying to be consistent. But like, because I haven't been going for like the past two months. Mm-hmm. And then I started feeling a little bit like shit. I was like, hmm, maybe I should just go to the gym. And like, yeah. it helped me a little bit, you know? Make me feel a little bit better and a little bit more energized too. So, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Because I got a little too comfortable, and then after a while, it made me a little bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, um, as as human beings, we we seek comfortability. But at that point, like, when you get comfortable, it's good for a while. But it's also good to challenge yourself and get out of that comfortability because, like, you we're meant to do great things in our lives you know we're meant to go and like move forward and i mean like yeah you got a nine to five but what else are you do with that nine to five are you trying to move up this corporate ladder or are you trying to um are you just trying to save up enough money so that you can go and explore the world a little bit later like you know people people don't realize but like repetition is is a, a crazy thing you know like it the 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 definition of um Insanity is doing the same exact thing over and over and over again, expecting a uh, different result, right? Yeah. So, I mean, the same thing with life. If you're continuously doing the same thing over and over and over again. You'll eventually go insane. Yeah. You know? And, like, growth happens, like, when you're like, doing uncomfortable things, you know? Yeah. No, absolutely. You know what? I mean, like... Challenging yourself. Challenge yourself. Take a, take a look. Read a book. You know? Um, ex- ex- go express yourself. Do some art. Like there's 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 so much more in this world. You know, go travel, go go do what you need to do to like, you know, express yourself. Yeah, you just gotta figure out that balance. Yeah. Especially, I mean, like for me, like I'm a very um what do you call that? Uh fuck, I can't think of the word now. Introvert, extrovert. Introvert, introvert. Ah, I knew it. I knew that's what you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm very introverted, but yeah. Like, when I'm out in public, like, I'm very, like, I like to socialize and, yeah. like, be around a lot of group of people. And I feel like I get a lot of energy just, you know, being around a lot of group of people. But mm-hmm. when I'm at home, I just want to be, like, alone. Like, I feel like that's the balance of, like, when I'm outside and I'm like, oh, I'm exhausted being around everybody. Yeah. And then when I'm at home, I'm just like, don't talk to me. Just leave me alone for a little <laughs> bit, and then I can go out. And oh, you got to recharge your... Um, yeah, I got to recharge my social bar. Yeah, the social bar. I know. I feel like um, I feel like everybody has a, a social bar that, you know, a lot of people will believe that that social bar is always filled. But no, at, 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 at points, at times in life, where it's just like, you know, all I really care about is to be chilling here in my bed, 
hopefully with my significant other, maybe just watching TV, maybe just talking to her, maybe just like listening to music, or maybe just like doing nothing. Yeah, time you for know? yourself. Time for yourself. Because, you know, people, people do a lot of things throughout the week. That's work. But yeah, then and you, you're you, constantly you get, surrounded by other people yeah. too. And then, and then you get to the weekend and, you know, there's something always happening on the weekend. So you go party or you go do things or you, 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 you're always, you're, you're out. But you don't, you don't have that time to just be like, you know, oh man, like have I watched a TV series in a while? Or have I, have I like read a good book in a minute? Or have I like done what I needed to do to make, to, to fulfill uh, a self need, you know? Like it's just nice to just don't, to not do anything. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, it, it not, I'm not, don't get me wrong. Like obviously the, you know, you, you want to go out there and you want to like be, be socialized and be a part of like the world and like, you know, like put your, make sure that your place in that world has not been forgotten. But at the same time, you know, like you, it, the balance is you gotta like take time for yourself as well. Yeah. I wonder how ex- extroverted people balance themselves. Oh, I'm an intro extrovert. I think at, at times I can be. Yeah. I think I'm a little bit of both. I'm more of an intro when I'm at home, but when I'm outside and in public, public yeah like I'm, I'm extroverted i think yeah i mean you know you just gotta find a balance in it you know like cool like you want to go hang out all right i'll go hang out but you know you gotta understand that sometimes you know i I've, I've been working so hard i've been doing all this stuff like i just want to chill but anyways besides that fact i mean like that's that's balance in life in itself you know what i'm saying balance in life in itself like you got work you got school you got you know all this extra stuff and you put you pour up all this yeah. you pour all of it in your plate and that plate in itself you got to learn to balance it because if you put too much work on it like you know are yeah you it's going to tip over to one side yeah. and i think it's a constant struggle for everybody it we is just, a constant you know, struggle you just got to keep working on it every single day yeah no absolutely i absolutely agree you need to take learn to take a minute for yourself um you know hopefully the people around you understand that you know like you're not, you're there, but you're not fully there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully they can, they can take a minute to understand that. Oh, okay. Like, cause some people, they do need that time. Yeah. You know? Cool. All right. Well, that's cool. Art of balance discussion. <laughs> if y'all have been tuning in and y'all listen to that whole uh, podcast, if it sounded nonsense to you, <laughs> go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, you know, if you already left, a while back I mean they're not here now <laughs> uh, well you know I still appreciate you for listening for however long you did um, <laughs> thanks for listening to our nonsense yeah you know our podcast is about life liberty you know I guess not liberty, <laughs> liberty. <laughs> that's America uh, life love and the pursuit of happiness but sometimes you know we gotta balance what we talk about yeah because this was uh, life life stuff life stuff you know things happen in your life that you have no control over but it's how you react. It's how you chillax and react to it later. Yeah. I have this. Oh, yeah. We forgot to do. We don't do this segment often, but discovering something new. Dude, the new AirPods. I'm definitely getting them. Oh, dude. I want them to. Yeah. Because um, cause the regular AirPods, they don't fit my ear. Dude, I, I'm so upset because... My left ear, for whatever odd reason, is it is bigger than my right ear, and yeah. it doesn't chill in my left ear. Yeah, I'm the same way too. Like it doesn't stay in my left ear. My right ear is fine. It, like it's a fine fit, but like left ear, like I I still need to put in like those rubber. Yeah, yeah, those rubber things. Rubber oh. fins or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. So I'm kind of excited for the new um. For the new AirPods, they just released. Yeah, it came out today actually. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh. Did you buy him already? Um, no. Oh, okay, I was about to uh, let me see him real quick. Bust um, it out. I might go buy him tomorrow because, like, I want like because it has like noise canceling too. Oh, and the cool feature about them is that it could be noise canceling, or you can make it environmental where you can hear everything. Yeah. Like some people, I'm into it sometimes. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, if you're gonna go running, like you want to hear stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to hear the cars, you want to hear like beeps and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I'm just excited to actually have an AirPod that would might possibly fit my ears uh hopefully hopefully and yeah. without putting that stupid rubber fin because that it sucks because like i lose those fins all the time 
all the time. Like, I just leave it in my car, but like I have to put him every single time, like I because I can't obviously put him in the case. Yeah, but, yeah. I don't even know where mine are, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, but shout out to Apple for uh finally coming out with uh, finally figuring that out. Yeah, shoot, shoot. I mean, you know, I'm, we're not sponsored by Apple, but like, it just it. The fact that I already own all these Apple stuff, it just yeah. makes it easier for me. You know, they got me in the beginning. That's how they got me. Otherwise, I probably don't sheep. know where I'd be. I, I'm not a sheep. I just... <laughs> you they, just own a lot of Apple stuff. Yeah. You know, you know like how you, how, how you get your first, like, um, like, let's think about video games. When you get your first video game and you keep buying video games and then, and then the, next, the next part of that video game, so like Kingdom Hearts came out, play, PlayStation 2, Kingdom Hearts yeah. 2. And I'm just like, or Kingdom Hearts, well, y'all get my drift. Like, you have to continue with that series because it's an exclusive, exclusive to that, yeah, yeah, yeah. To that thing. And same thing with Apple. It's just like, oh, man, I, I already got this phone. Like, all my stuff is on it. Do I want to, like, gather all this stuff again and put it on a different, like, operating system that I might not even know how to use? Yeah. And I mean, I'm super excited for that yeah. AirPods. AirPods, though. We'll, hopefully, we'll see. Speaking of things that uh, we discovered... Um, a homie of mine, super excited, shouted out to me that he was looking at the DJI Mav or DJI Mini. Mini. Yeah. The, yeah. The drone that it's oh, oh. I mean, it's a cool drone for four hundred dollars. Is like, I feel like it might be a good deal. It's an intro drone, which I mean, I ain't mad about it. In all honesty, it it's affordable. Yeah. I mean. What what else? Are you, I don't know. I've I just been like on and off about it. I mean, it's like I, I kind of want, I want get to get the you air. Fight, you get you get what you pay for. You, you know? do get what you pay for. Absolutely. I want to get the air because I don't know. I just like the video quality is good, but like it's good I, enough. I want I want like the mobility and the the I don't I don't know. I I still have a lot to do a lot of research, but the um that is the new thing that I I discovered. Well, I didn't really discover it. I was it, it I discovered yeah, it. Yeah, you a just friend. came out today, I think, or today yesterday. No, it's not even out yet. It's uh, taking pre-orders, I think. Oh, I mean, yeah, they announced it yesterday. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm, I, I do want to like, I was thinking about buying like an airplane. Like, uh, uh, my my grandpa used to make like model airplanes, so he would fly these model airplanes at the park and stuff. And I'm like, oh, how cool would it be to just bu- build a model airplane, and just fly that bad boy everywhere? And well, then I was sh- like, I might just, as well get a drone. You just make one. You should just make one of those. Um. The racing drones. Those are a lot more fun. Dude, I want to get a... Oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll do that. Is it cheaper, you think? I don't know. I mean, oh, I don't man. know how to make them, but they look cool because you can actually move around, you know? Yeah, I feel like... But then you got to buy a GoPro, and then... Well, what does Sam Holder use? Because he, he, he has those action... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like DJI should come up with, like, a racing drone. I'm pretty sure they're working on it. A racing drone would be sick. That's actually what I really wanted to do. It just for. looks cool because, like, you can do a lot more movement and not just like the just typical drone straight up, down shots. straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. The overhead, the the yeah, yeah. Typical drone. Yeah, gotta look different. Gotta stand up from the rest. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for listening. If you're still out here, <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you, and tune in for our next episode of Yo, Check Check It. it. Peace. Later.